Hello, TOT crew. Brian Ireland here. On my way to the ground for the first time. Walking down the street, should be about two minutes away. Spurs taking on Manchester United home opener and just first game at home. Very exciting stuff. About to get into the crowd, protests happening. Uh, lots going on, lots to talk about, but uh, looking forward to the football. Got great seats. Uh, people starting to appear. It's going to be a busy one. Come on, you Spurs. Hello everyone, welcome back to Tottenham on Tour, the world famous home of Levy Out. We are here for, is this your first game, Mr. Ireland? It's my first game uh, at the new stadium. I have been to games at, at the lane before, but uh, looking forward to getting inside. Uh, Man U, uh, gonna be, should be a cracking game, looking forward to it. It's amazing, I mean, how are we feeling about today, uh, the game today? It's a, it's a very difficult one because Man United was splattering last week. They got a, yeah. a very, very lucky three points from their referee. They looked, uh, they looked really, really shit in the midfield, and I think if we can exploit that again, if they, they play anything remotely close to that, we're going to absolutely spank them. Is our midfield strong? Uh, we got Saar in there, Basuma, and of course Matty uh, matters, matters doing what he does. I think it's, um, I think it's, I think, I think it's a Spurs win today. I'm feeling pretty confident. What's your score prediction? I think 2-1. I think I still yeah. think um, we're going to struggle a little bit to get goals, but there'll be space in behind um, that we didn't have last week when it came to the the, the low block that Brentford played. Yeah. Man, Man United aren't going to play a low block. They're going to give us the ball, yeah. and they're going to counterattack, so there'll be space in behind for us to, in this game. So we'll get a couple of goals. Probably, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping Richie gets off the line because I do think confidence-wise he's going to need that to, to crack on, and I want to see Sonny get involved as well. Absolutely. We'll... Uh... It's the first game of Sonny as the captain of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. At the stadium. At the stadium. Yeah. Is this an amazing moment for Mr. Sonny? It's, it's, it it's is. A, it's, there is a lot of pressure on Sonny. He's replacing Hugo Lloris as the captain, as we all know. He is. He is. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of pressure on him, but I think, you know, he, he's captains his, uh, his national team. Uh, hmm. he's, he's, he's a... He's a a solid, solid captain. I think it's a great choice. I think mm. I think it'll do well. I'm really excited about uh, Ange's uh, first home game at the stadium as well. So that I think there'll be a lot of lots of talk to, about that. Lots of singing his name, and uh, yeah. of course the the um, there's a tifo that's going to be done as Absolutely. well in the uh, in the south end. So I'm looking I'm looking forward to seeing that and looking buzzing, mate, buzzing. Absolutely. We're going to do some videos of that tifo. It's going to be connecting with this vlogger, you know. Yeah, we'll add it. We will catch you inside the stadium, and we will see you there, guys. Walking into the ground, folks. First time into the lane, the new lane. Sun's out. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's fucking unreal. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at that shit. Look at this fucking sun. Oh my god. Wow.
obviously there's some great moments there that uh, it's just hard to describe uh, the joy that I, I've been able to to have doing this and um, doing it for you guys. I haven't been on the camera a lot lately, but uh, this is the kind of thing that uh, you know it's, it couldn't I couldn't uh, pass. So you, you'll see if you'll uh, you've seen Ben on here, you've seen Brian on here. I want to I want to get Brian to kind of you know ask me a few questions about what um, what the experience was like. And uh, so over to you, Brian. Well, first of all, it's uh, wonderful to be actually in the same room on the same camera. I know, I know, I know. That's it's uh, been, uh, uh, well, me being I, in the UK is a strange exactly, one. So. Exactly. I, I left yeah. uh, Toronto in November. Yeah, yeah. So we wouldn't have done anything really since October. So 10 months. 10 yeah, months. it's been a long time in the same room doing a, uh, doing a, a show lot. together for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I came to pick you up at the airport, which was the most surrealist thing ever. Yeah. And yeah, we didn't, I don't think we did any video from that, but we, no. we, we did, we did, a, we did a trip to Chick King. So if you're ever in the Tottenham area and you're going to, to the stadium, uh, despite what Brian says about uh, the difference between quality of pop, Popeyes and Chick King, Chick King is better um and uh debatable. <laughs> no it's not debatable. It's much better yeah. but either way uh it is a it is a staple of, of course of north london uh you'll see from the, obviously from the intro i walked up uh, from where i'm was staying in n17 which was an experience in itself but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes yes yeah. it, uh, that it most definitely is my mom was born there yeah i lived by yeah. bruce grove station but it's it's definitely an experience but talking of experience mm. let's sum this up so obviously what Ooh. were your first thoughts when you first saw the state when i took you yeah, it was incredible. I mean, it's it, it's it's such a anomaly, right? This 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 beautiful giant, arguably you know, people call it a spaceship. Yep. It feels like that. It's like, what is this thing doing here? But it's it's clearly like a, a work of art, like the, the the a very modern stadium, a very old city, an old part of the city that hasn't uh, necessarily got a lot of regeneration, but they are working on it apparently. Um, so very strange, but also kind of like holy crap, you know? I, I really. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed just seeing it and being like, you know, watching it being built from afar in Canada to see kind of like the result was, it was impressive uh, and uh, yeah, fun to, fun to, fun to see and fun experience. It was, it was. I mean, and then obviously let's talk about it. So what was your pre-game day before you went in the stadium and you saw people around the, around the area and everything? What was your, your thought in the build up to going in? Yeah, I mean, it was you know we I, I spent um, what did we, what did we do Friday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I hung out with some friends Friday and uh, had a few beers, talked football. It was just just being just being in London again. It's been a while. Yeah. So I haven't had a chance to to kind of um, to do this for in a long time. I think my, I was here for my 40th birthday with my girlfriend. Shout out to Nina if you watch this. Big up Nina. And uh, we uh, we we went away to to West Ham. So I hadn't been to the lane or to to N17 proper. I mean, we we went. You know, when there's not a game, it's not the same when there's a game. So you know, the build up was great. It was just everybody talking about the game, and of course, there's a bit of that that fear yeah, home game course. first first home game for Ange and. Uh, and excitement as well and you know you'll see from when i was walking up I was pretty pretty buzzed and then walking into the stadium i mean that was that was incredible so yep yeah, you got in the stadium obviously you go through security you get through mm. everything yeah i had i struggled with my my ticket ben was there to help a lot me thankfully of did. yeah because it's like you gotta do like you gotta hit this button and then the three yeah. buttons and that's yeah it's a bit you, wait, wait, if you know you know if you don't you'll know when you go you were in the east down so it's a different uh stand to where i went in so what was it like yeah you inside unbelievable so at the seats i had do, like, do you think sorry just quickly yeah, do go. you think it looks like an airport when you're inside it feels like you're walking through I, to your I, I feel like there's a little bit of that but i feel like because of what you're used to for uh, a football stadium it doesn't so so bmo field in toronto is kind of like the spurs stadium but a very very small scale version of it everything is really open though like so you're walking in an open ground and you can go all the way around and there's levels and it's yeah. like it was like that but there's levels right so it's all, all the way at the 500 level where i was east 500 i think is what it's called or whatever the east yeah. um uh, shout out to ben again ben ben uh, on the channel uh kaufman who got me tickets a ticket and uh the stadium like the shot from where i was and you can see obviously from some of the videos i took earlier on um with the with the uh, tifo and then the, the crowd singing come on you spurs and 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 all the songs and just the noise was unreal i was blown away by it and this and the visual the visual you know if you're like tactics if you like football tactics because you could see everything of course, <laughs> you know, like, the best thing yeah ever. and you're just kind of going and especially in this uh, new type you know style of football we're playing under andrew was able to see a lot of what it was that he's doing and players off the ball what yep. they were doing because you know on tv it's, it's the camera follows the ball and you don't see the stuff around it so brilliant absolutely brilliant from that location and it was a wonderful thing to see i do um there is a part of me and, and i'm hoping to make this a tradition to come and do this every year uh home opener and away opener okay um, that's the goal so i'm gonna you know i haven't told nina that yet but she'll probably want to, she'll probably want to come with me next time which is that's fine. A good point. She loves yeah. she does but um it'll be uh 
yeah, it'd be amazing to be able to do that. But um, yeah, it, it just incredible. Really, really enjoyed it. Had an absolute blast. And it's obviously been been amazing to hang out with you again uh, in person. And yeah. uh, and I really recommend uh, doing like just get yourself over here if you can. If you're not from uh, if you're not from from even London in general, just, just in, in, incredible experience. So let's talk about the because I obviously wasn't there. A lot yeah, of people just gonna, saying just the get to that. was better than Arsenal. Um, obviously, I I was back in Toronto. We were in the Scotland Yard. We were, game, we were, yeah. But a lot of people were saying it. I couldn't hear the commentary in the pub because there was everyone singing in the pub. Yeah, but. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean that was the most impressive thing, and like I just I just got chills thinking about it. I just got goosebumps thinking about it because the South Stand, and now I want to I want to like, probably eventually get to the South Stand. I think the next time I come, we we just went and visited uh, Ben and Sim at uh, We Are Tottenham TV. So shout out to those guys. I should have got an interview with you guys. Sorry, man, I was <laughs> just in my brain was elsewhere, but really right really great to to see them. But we talked about what like the next time I'm here to yeah. get into the South Stand. Um, the noise level was just incredible. It was just raucous the entire time like as soon as i walked in the stadium from you know 30 minutes we sat there 30 minutes singing songs to, yeah. until we left it was it's just so loud i couldn't believe it and uh like i think you'd said before the game that you know there's been issues with the with the you know yeah. switching from an old stadium where everybody is used to sitting with the same people yeah. and they got the songs and they know how to get going and that yeah. that's a hard thing to recreate when you just put everybody in every place that they can go and um you know, we're starting to see the club do that. I think the the think shelf section. side have got a section now, and you know they're starting to sort of get that kind of going in that south stand. And it was incredible. Where I was sitting, you know, I'm upper five. It's probably like people with a little bit more dosh, yeah, a little bit more money. Um, so because the seats are so so bloody good, um, that uh, you know, maybe they're not as they're not as you know, well, the white wall sauce, annoyed. I would say. <laughs> the white wall annoyed were going to be that, and obviously the whole stadium was apparently like that. Yeah, and obviously. Yeah. During the game, it was like that, but I've seen the videos of after the game was just crazy. It was amazing, yeah. And you'll see some of these. You'll have seen some of these as well. We did the one. The, the great one was when uh, Ben and I walked up the stairs just to uh, south of the uh, South Stand, like yep. where, where, where the South Stand folks are coming out. And um, there was uh, you, you guys saw the, the kangaroo uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bouncing, which is just class and uh, yeah, just amazing. I mean, the the thing about this experience for me that I love the most about it, and I think you know, just to tie it all in was was what Ange has brought to the club yep. and the fan base and the sort of the reconnection to the the team that we love that was something i said a, a bunch of times like i i, I had i that's you know we all know what it was like under potch when he was in, at his peak and things were going really well and how we all felt connected uh, you know not just as fans you know there's all set factions we all felt like a fan fans of the club and then what Ange has done is sort of bring that to back together again and i i just um you felt it in the in the in the stadium like across the board everybody was feeling really good obviously there were protests at the beginning for good reasons and they were done really well i think and i, I participated in those as well um but uh the the the, the camaraderie and the the cohesion uh, that Ange has brought to this to this back to this club so far and of course you know we know we all know there's there's time to be to be had, but it was um, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So yeah. So you, you talk about cohesion and the atmosphere and all together mm. after the match. Yeah, it right. Was, it was great, and uh, obviously Cheyenne came down and still. So we had the original Tottenham away crew. Yeah, I'm sure. And a load more people. Yeah, hopefully they'll post the that photo on Twitter if you're if you're on Twitter, check out Tottenham away boys because uh, they. Uh, yeah, I got to see I got to see the guys that we started that channel with, and then ended up doing this channel, and and other people who just came up to me and said, "Hey, Brian, uh, you know, crazy, watch you on YouTube," and I'm like, uh, "Okay, cool," you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of surreal, but but amazing. And so for those people, and if I forget your names, I apologize because it was there's a lot of it, and. Uh, but thank you and thank you for everybody who watches our channel and enjoys it and uh and, and was able to come up and say hello and, and meet me in person and uh make the part of the experience uh that much better it was just we went to we went to um, what's it called uh, a, a, a bee joy it was called the restaurant oh for the indian yeah we went for indian food which yes, occurred for, for some curry which was brilliant and uh and we're finishing off here with this and then with some you know chicken and the best roast potatoes apparently on the planet from his mom and uh, i can't wait for that so it's uh yeah it's been a whirlwind it's been brilliant uh, and uh, thank you for your hospitality and yeah, thank you for helping me uh, get in and out of the city and, and, and to get, you know, all the, all the things that you've done and, and anybody else who's been involved in this trip. It's, it's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate you. And um, I guess we'll, we'll probably sign off there. I, I got to get, uh, yeah, I got to get uh, the, the, the music ready, but yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. If you like this video, if you want to see some more of this, 
we'll try to get uh, Ben to do a little bit of it and um, and Ryan of course as well because right. um, they're they're going to be local still he'll be joining me back in Toronto soon and we'll be doing a little bit of sort of layered programming uh, so look for that. We'll be doing some 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 of the same stuff, but some of it will have to change a little bit because of the, the time change. But thank you for watching. Uh, we love you. We'll we'll see you soon. Cheers.